Alright, what's up guys? Another snack video. It's a Saturday. I might, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do my uh, McDonald's feast today. I might do it. I might do it later. At the moment, I just don't feel like eating McDonald's at the moment. I start to get like these fucking outbreaks now. Like, eating too much like salt and sugars and that. But anyway, we've got uh, these. I found these. I, f I forgot all about these. I've got, had these sitting in the cupboard for a while. These are uh, McVitie's. Digestives, cherry bakewell flavour. So let's see how long it takes me to smash these. And let's have, have a quick look at the macros while we're here. Nice and healthy. Nice and healthy. So let's uh, get through these. So what I normally do is once I've done these like videos where I've smashed the big bag of crisps or whatever, is I'll, I'll drink I'll drink loads of water, like try and drink a bit a lot of water for the day to try and flush it out. And then I'll I'll do my uh, cardio training. Like I'll do like a 40 minute walk and then uh Yeah. But anyway, let's uh test this, let's uh, sniff it first, see if we can smell a cherry bake oil. You can sort of smell like the sweet, like, you know, like you, that the, the the smell of a cherry bake or like that that ice in the cherry, that like, that glazed cherry smell. But it doesn't taste like a cherry bake. It just tastes, it just tastes like a regular digestive. Tastes like regular digestive. It smells of a cherry bake but it doesn't taste like it. Strange. Strange, isn't it? I've got this Sonic, Sonic the Movie uh, instrumental or reconstruction in the background. I hope it don't get copyrighted. I could work on a play the original with, with the song, actual uh, vocals there. But I know for sure that that would definitely get uh, get caught. I don't know how people upload like movies and music videos to YouTube and they don't get like flagged or nothing. Let's look at it. Let me just uh Re re resize myself a bit so you can see All right. look at this it's that about this virus there's something that that's on here that that blew my mind earlier i read this this morning look at this look i was reading this where is it? Look at that. Read that. Read this with me. If you can read it. Look what it says. At 1020. It says mosques call worshippers to pray from home. That ordinarily Muslims worshippers are called to pray, pray by a Muslim who besides phrases asking people to come pray in the mosque. It's a staple part of the day in many Muslim countries, but now as many countries try to reduce the risk of infection, some mosques are asking worshippers 
to pray from home. This slightly, this highly unusual call to prayer has been heard in Kuwait. If you read this, that right there, that shows you, that shows you how irrelevant and unnecessary these places of worship, like temples, churches, mosques, anything that you go to to, to, to pray to. Now that there's a virus, now, now they're saying you can pray at home. That just shows you how much of a waste of space and resources it took to build those buildings. And now, now you don't need them. Now, because there's a virus going around, praying at home is just, it's just fine. So it just shows you, you might as well knock all these buildings down and build homes and build things that's more useful to, to humanity. It just shows you, you don't need it. If you're praying, your God should be able to hear you or hear you wherever you are. Like, why do you have to be in this like sacred, pure building that's built a certain way? It like, costs a fortune to make as well and takes up a lot of space. Where we go, broken new. This is live, by the way. This just happened. This just popped up right now. It's getting, it's getting out of hand now. It's just like, like a TV drama. There's def definitely something going on in the background, politically wise. Like, a bit funny. The timing of things. Don't go to the supermarket and stockpile. But for this, but for this cunt here, oh yeah, it's alright for you. Let's see, let's see the reason why it's okay for her to stockpile. I stockpile all the time. At the start of this year, when it was a free for the price of one, one of my favourite toners, Manuka Honey. When there's seventy percent off, so I seriously go to it. Look, so, it's, so it's okay for her to fucking do it, but, but for us, no, don't do it. With these, uh, with these digestives, the best way, the best way to eat these things is two at a time, and you sandwich them like that. So you don't get like the, you don't get all like sticky chocolatey things. So you just hold it like that. I've always done it like that. And look at this kind of look. I can everyone, everyone's had a go at her, aren't they? Her hole, her hole must be so fucking droopy and loose. Let's see what it says about this. Look. Katie Bryce told to pay ex-husband £25,000 over the sex life claims. Katie Price should pay her ex-husband, Alex Reed, £25,000 in damages for misusing details of what? Where do they, where do they get this number from? Like, is he? Just stick with your hand on the internet. Can't go wrong. Well, here we go. Look, the LGBT. Look, they're, they're, they're poking it. They want to dip their feet in in uh, the, the in, in in your children now. They want they want to get involved with your with what your children see. They want they they want they want children from an early age 
to accept their mental illness. Look at this. You're gonna get um. You're gonna get something like uh. In, like an iCarly. You're gonna get a transgender iCarly. Look at that. That there will be a transgender character in a future Marvel film, an upcoming superhero movie. Fucking hell. Hey, go look. There's your, di there's your diversity. Fucking hell. Dizzy Maguire. I used to watch that on the Disney Channel. You don't look the same, it looks a bit, looks a bit rough there. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 my expression right now. What the fuck is going on in this world? Mentally ill. worrying too much about this virus. If I get it, I get it. Of course, of course I'll, I'll follow the hygiene. Like wash my hands with the sanitizer. Like when I go when I go to the gym now, I have, I have a pure gym. They encourage you to use the hand sanitizers before you start. So I'll use that before I start my training. And I also use it again when I come out. people still want to travel this this has been this has been occurring since january and it got worse and worse and worse but people are still persistent in wanting to fucking travel just fucking stay home and let the let it pass In this pure chaos or quarter four, I can see your, your comment there. I don't want anyone watching this to see what you said to me or see our, see uh, our messages, so I can't look at it right now. And plus, we're smashing these digestives, getting a bit sick now. I should have just opted out for the McDonald's. In fact, I might still just it's like what one o'clock now. I might go like go a bit later, let this go, wash this down, and then we'll go. I might uh, go and get something. At the moment, all I can look at is this website. I don't know where else to look. I don't know what we can look at. Look at. Okay. What, what games are out? Got Neo 2. Everyone on the Nintendo front is waiting for this bad boy. This Animal Crossing. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not. I've never played Animal Crossing. I'm not sure if it appeals to me. Why are they showing us a pre-order when we've we've seen nothing of it? The last time we showed we saw this when they announced it like years ago. Like all they showed us was the title. And then not and shortly after that we got told that they scrapped it and they're restarting it. Pokemon Sword and Shield, I still haven't touched that. 
I haven't, I haven't touched the Pokemon game since Pokemon. The last one I played was Pokemon Gold. And then I found a couple years ago, I found Pokemon White on the DS in a charity shop. And I tried that, and it was all the Pokemon. I've never heard of them. So I might, I might, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to the start, and I might do a playthrough of uh, Pokemon. I'm gonna, I might do Pokemon Red or Blue. Not both of them, just one of the two. And then do Pokemon Yellow. That's, that's where I started. Like when, I, when I was in year seven, I got Pokemon Yellow. And my first, and the Pokemon Color, was, was the, the, the Lime Green Poke, uh, Game Boy. Game, the Game Boy Color. And then Pokemon sort of died off there, didn't it? And then, then Gold and Silver come out. I've got Gold. And then, then Pokemon was dead since then. Like I never... It sort of died down a bit like with, the, with the Pokemon card type. No, it's still pushing uh, the DS. I want to. I want to get a, a 3DS emulator. But I definitely need a better PC to handle that. But for this year, the, the, the games I'm waiting for, which I hope it happens, is Splatoon 3, a new a new Donkey Kong Country, and uh, that's about it. And then the next Sonic game, really. that the last of us two coming out with this virus going on everything is just getting delayed so they might even delay the the ps5 and the uh, xbox pretty much the, the start of a new decade 2020 the, the world's just gone to shit this game's gonna be it's not gonna be as good as the first one and if they kill if they kill off Joel I'm, I'm not I'm gonna be fucking so upset if he gets killed off you don't even play as him you just play as Ellie I did, I did play a demo of Ori, Ori and the Something Forest, like the Nintendo Switch version. I didn't really get on with it. I didn't. The controls didn't feel very good. Oh, we've got four left. <sighs> right, dig deep. We've got to not irritate my teeth. Yeah, 
Xbox Series X. So is that what it looks like? It looks like um, it looks like one of those speakers, like one of those, like, one of those like um, wireless speaker things. Controller looks the same. Like they're just a huge waste of money they are so it's pretty much an it's pretty much a nintendo switch without the switch features Send it all the way to get fixed. So, uh, recommend them nah if you if you if you're in your biscuit aisle and you're getting your digestives don't get them they're not very good you might as well just get a packet of regular chocolate digestives and if you fancy a cherry bake well just go down the bakery section and get a packet of mr kipling's you can't go wrong there I've seen any good cakes so yeah we've tried them would i buy them again no but yeah peace 